in my last video i promised you guys that i'm gonna make subscribe video we're not capping yet come on now <laughs> although my release of videos might not be like so often as you guys expect it but i will definitely be dropping something here so please stay tuned after i dropped that video i've been having some questions you know questions that have been coming in oh it's that okay this and this and this hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for coming on board i'm mr jabram we are from beloved lifestyle vlogs there is many more Good to be seeing you guys how are you all doing happy new year let me use this opportunity to wish you all a beautiful happy graceful year 2024 it will be a phenomenal year for you to be to you a testament of the year that god is going to feel great great mighty things in your life your family how is your year coming guys what are those things that god is laying in your heart what is that vision god is laying in your heart make sure you embrace the vision you are getting nailing them this year because we are ready <laughs> drop them in the comments and guys please let this year be a year that you are so intentional intentional about your growth intentional about every area of your life all that thing that god is laying into your heart that he wants you to do let it be the year that you take up responsibility i'm so glad that i mean last year god really did a whole lot in me and i was able to like you know navigate through some things that it was making me to learn so that in uh, my becoming i can become that in which you want me to be so yeah guys welcome back once again to my channel welcome to the joyful esther also an esther purposeful girl right for those that are just coming on board welcome 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 thank you so much take a seat don't forget to subscribe so many many more episodes are coming your way right <laughs> okay guys so in my last video i promised you guys that i'm gonna make subsequent video we're not capping yet come on now <laughs> although my release of videos might not be like so often as you guys expect it but i will definitely be dropping something here so please stay tuned watch out for it because i will surely drop one or two here so promise my last video if you've not seen that video this is a continuation of it so please go see the video <laughs> about my relocation journey i mean about securing a tuition from this school you know in europe and after i dropped that video i've been having some questions you know questions that have been coming in oh esther okay this and this and this and this i said like, okay although i still promise i'm going to drop another video but then you guys i dropped something very important in the description box i was like I'll, I'll be making more videos but then if you are ready or even not ready to but you need a well detailed step-by-step -step process from me okay esther i just want you to take me through this i watch your videos but i just want to be more intentional about you know this process i want you to take me through how i can navigate this how you were able to secure this that you did I mean, send me. A <laughs> I mean, send me a mail. I'm, I'm sure some of you have my contact. Send me that message, and we're going to take time together, taking you through the step by step process. You know, creating your account, starting from creating your account in the campus, friends, looking for a, looking for a perfect course or training for you, helping you to navigate it through. I wrote it there. You guys did not want to book a session. Mm? <laughs> Is this how we are starting 2024? Okay, so once you are ready, you want me to take you through it, holding your hands and taking you through it step by step. Go book that session, oh. book a session with me, and then we are going to just sit down together. We're going to do it and I'm sure that it's going to, you know, birth a great one, yeah. So yeah, as promised to a continuation from my last video and I'm talking about my relocation journey, how I was, I was able to, you know, secure a school here in France. I mean, more or less, a tuition from this school. So I said I was going to drop some of the schools that the fees are so, I mean, quite low affordable they are tuition funded so to say because some of the schools you just pay registration fee like you literally do not pay tuition fee so to say so there are some of the schools in which my school is among them so i'm going to make a list of them so that 
those who want to check them out can check them out and those who still want to like continue to book a session with me so that okay esther let's check this out together i want you to help me through i want you to you know guide me through the step-by-step -step process you're welcome i mean i'm available you know <laughs> all you just need to do is send that mail send that message and we are good to go right so yeah i took my time found out some of the schools yeah in france so to say i mean there are other schools like that in europe general you can find in spain you can find in um germany switzerland countries that are in this european union but i'm going to be narrowing it to friends basically so yeah based on my research personal research as of 2022 so this was although some of them adjusted their prices some of them they kind of had thousands of euros to their school fees but some of the schools administration said no i mean they are still sticking to their former prices so regardless of whenever you're watching this video it's still very important for you to you know check out the schools check their websites know the updates of the information on the school's website right regardless of what i'm coming here to say so some of those schools i'm going to be listing them i'm going to just writing them to on the screen so we have university of paris yeah if you check and some of these schools actually their name is after like the city name most of them yeah so we have university of paris we have university of leon we have university of strasbourg university of toulouse is also called university toulouse one capital we have ex marcel university we have university of lille some of them is this just like the english in french they call them university de paris university de lyon university de strasbourg <laughs> oh guys don't worry i'm still coming with my french because your people are not ready <laughs> i'm quite improving my french it's not just all those you know basic words but your girl is coming guys <laughs> sorry i digress university of lille university of bordeaux university of grenoble alp university of montpellier university of nice sophia and Tripolis. so these are major schools that you know they are more like state school public schools that don't charge thousands of euros like the private ones or the business schools yeah so i'm still going to you know say additional information on that so for generally for european citizens like for their own citizens some of the tuition fees are kind of lower compared to international students i mean generally for like most of the schools but then some of the schools and especially the ones that are listed they kind of generalize it to the same with um, both their yeah, citizen and international student because for instance in my own school now the same fee because i asked my one of my classmates today is european so i got to know that okay we are actually paying the same like just registration fee and that registration fee costs 245 euros and that's all you need to pay for the academic year right although you pay this student contribution to that one is compulsory for everybody regardless even if you're on scholarship you have to pay it and that's about 95 euros or 100 95 to 100 so to say but the major um registration fees which they consider as the tuition fees of course it's just 245 euros for masters for undergraduates for bachelors we have um 100 and something euros for distribution from their schools so it depends on now the bachelors the masters and the phd right the fees for some of the schools varies for european citizens and international students but some of these schools the major ones that i listed out they actually also favor international students with the same prices so that is why now it is specific to your training specific to the particular school that you choose because some of the trainings in the particular school their tuition fees is different from another training so that is why you have to search for specific information so i'm bringing just the general information regarding the schools here but then once he has to like look further to the trainings and the fees that is applicable to each trainings right yeah some of the fees they are the same while in some schools especially the private schools they have thousands of heroes and we have business the business and the private schools they are not really classified under these 
tuition funders so to say because their fees varies from thousands thousands of euros let's say nine thousand to fifteen thousand there's a business school here even in my city it's called uh Burgundy school of business so if you are going there i think for the bachelors and the masters it's range nine to fifteen thousand like nine thousand ten thousand euros per year they are not they are not cheap because they are majorly into business it's more like into the area then the private school some of the private schools too they are tuition fees thousands of euros so that's why i'm bringing the ones that are more like as well as the state school public school so they are tuition funded and these are their fees so if you want to get on to start your search that is more like channeled and narrowed down you want to get specific information or advice that you first open account like that's even the first step open an account if you don't want to like just search on google or use other search engine to check them out maybe the names of the schools okay guys so this is me just doing a quick one to show you how the website looks like the entries in france the studies in france so i'm just doing it on my phone but i would advise you to do it on a system you can translate it to english but to show in french then you can check the training that you want for example it, it's even giving an example like for instance you can type masters in um, chemistry so once you type it it will bring out all the trainings that are correlated to this particular subject and like the schools that offers them as you can see like the drop down is there then it will also show you the ones that are taught in english so you can find both diplomas either um bachelors and masters or phds the ones that are taught in english and the ones that are also in french so you can narrow your search through this the first thing to do if you want to search for training here in france is first of all go to campus france website guys i share the link in my last video i'm still going to share it in this one check the description box register on campus uh, friends website they have each one that is applicable to each country is right but there are some countries that don't have the campus friends but then once you go to the website and you want to register it will ask you that which country are you in like which country are you registering from so it will help you to like you know make it specific to the country you are registering from or you are applying from do you get so once you register you can now check the website you'll not be able to see wide range of schools that you can apply for maybe you already saw a training while searching through other search engines you can just i mean automatically it's easier for you just check the training there on the website and it will bring it for you yeah also guys so there are different departments you see department of science art business i mean commercial there are a wide range of trainees that you can check for and apply to directly some of them require that you apply directly through the school's website why some of them just say, okay apply through campus friends it's okay you write your motivation you submit some of the documents while you're applying so it's channeling it specifically to the training that you are selecting some of them you see the school's website where you have to apply directly to the school's website open an account and you also have to apply through campus friends because to continue your processes like you know going for other to the visa and all of that you have to still go through campus friends right i guess that's it so in france actually their bachelors they call it license and it's just for three years their master's program is two years we have some that is just one then the phd is three years so bachelors they call it lessons it's three years yeah normally i mean coming from back home there we we have bachelors four years five <laughs> Oh yeah, it's just three years. The masters two years. Some some is just even one M one M two. Some is just straight way into M two, and the PhD two is three years. So that's it about it. I'll still drop more updates that I feel you guys need to know, especially maybe those two that have come to friends and you are trying to navigate. Because even when you come here, you still have a lot of processes. 
to do like a lot of documentations like you know validating your visa when you come you know opening a bank account there are some requirements that you just have to do and the government there's one government um aid more like financial aid so to say that help people with the accommodation like international students with accommodation they call it CAF so they will actually assist you with your accommodation then there is the accommodation called CRUS which is like in partnership with the government you know to help students and the fees are quite kind of lesser including your electricity water wi-fi everything is included right so they have different packages and guys it's quite good and affordable because the government actually want to help students in this way through these various means then you also have to do your health insurance they got you covered you have some documentations to do about that so there are different processes too like that where when you come to france before you settle in you have to go through them so i think i need to bring this video now to an end if this video has helped you don't forget to give it a thumbs up you know guys <laughs> And I wish you a very fruitful, you know, prosperous or purposeful year ahead. Stay joyful, stay happy, stay lovely, stay purposeful, guys. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching till this time. Love you guys and I'm going to see you in another episode. Bye. Love you. Mwah.